afternoon YouTubers. Uh, this afternoon I want to talk to you about the three different sins. So when people talk about, as a Christian, having victory over sin, they're not talking about having complete victory over sin. What I mean to say is, is there is complete victory over sin in Christ through his resurrection and, and death, but we will not see that played out this side of the grave. In other words, we cannot be perfect and sinless this side of the grave. So what do I mean by the fact that there's three different uh, separate types of sin? Well, firstly, there's what the Bible calls transgressions. What transgressions are is they are sins that we do that we don't realise we're doing. For example, walking on the grass in Cambridge and not seeing the boat walk on the grass sign. We accidentally sin. Now, we do this all the time. There's things the Holy Spirit might tell us to do, and we, we don't do them because we're busy and not listening. Uh, there's people we might need to comfort, and we don't. All these are not, there's nothing deliberate about these sins. But they are still sins. They still fall short of God's righteousness. But the way God views transgressions is not as seriously as he views the other sins. He, he sees it seriously. All sin is serious. And all sin saw Jesus nailed to the cross for us. So, but transgressions are one way of sinning. Now, those sins will not disappear this side of the grave. We will not stop transgression, transgressing this side of the grave because it's impossible to do so. There's all, all ways in life, landmines on which you'll step on, things that with your, which you'll say that you didn't realise you shouldn't have said. You know, the moment we get out of bed, we, we start sinning. We don't realise we're sinning, but we do, we do sin. This is what we call transgression. The second type of sin is what the Bible calls iniquity. Iniquity is where you're, you're in bondage to sin, basically. So let's say you're um, a heavy drinker, you, you, you can't stop drinking, you can't stop having a drink, and it's affecting your family life and everything, and you feel powerless to do anything about the, the, the sin. So you're in bondage, it's a stronghold, you're in a stronghold of sin. You know you're sinning, but you also don't feel like you can do anything about it. This is what we call iniquity, sin we do over and over and over and over again because we don't have the victory in that, that area. Now, once a Christian through Jesus Christ and through praise and everything gains the victory over iniquity, over the sins they do over and over and over and over and over again, and they stop doing that, then they are freed from their iniquity. Now, iniquities are very serious because um, they lead us to be uh, distant from God, away from God's lordship and, and um, relationship. They cut us off from God. They destroy our life, making it less, and they make the life miserable when we do these things. We, we feel guilty because we're doing them over and over again. We know they're wrong because they're doing them over and over and over again. And um, it's not good. I mean, we might rationalise these things. We might say, oh, well, that's just who I am, because we don't feel we can have the victory over that sin because it's one we just do over and over again without being able to, to fight it or have victory in that area but when jesus breaks the bondage of that you are free then to live a more victorious christian life <clears throat> and the way he does that the way he did it for me is through praise music through, through praising the lord the temptations will always be there i'm not saying that if you're freed from a particular sin you used to do that the te temptations will stop they won't. Temptation will always be there. Temptation will always be an issue. Now, the third sin and the most serious type of sin is deliberate sin. Deliberate sin is where we have the power not to do a particular sin, yet we do it anyway. So, for instance, where we have the power to not blow our top with someone, we blow our top with them anyway. Even though we have the power to do it, it's called deliberate sin. Now, deliberate sin is the most serious form of sin, and the Bible talks about it as being the most serious form of sin. And the Bible says, if anyone deliberately keeps on sinning, once they have received the truth, there is no righteousness, uh, there's no grace or uh, forgiveness left. Now, what that means is, is after they have received the truth. In other words, after you've been re released and had the victory in your, on, from your bondage of sin, and you completely, you can completely overcome temptation, it might still be hard, there's still a struggle, but you can overcome it, and you deliberately walk back to that sin, the Bible calls it like a dog returning to their vomit. It's, it's a serious sin. So, these are the three different types of sin. So when we talk about Christians having victory over sin, we're not necessarily mean that they're going to be living perfectly and not sinning at all. 
So hopefully that has um, made things easier to understand. Thank you for watching.